after losing their last two games, the University of Illinois men's basketball team appears to be back on track. The Illini welcomed in Hampton University to the State Farm Center in Champaign Wednesday night. U of I scored early and fast. They finished the half ball with a 12-point lead as Illinois cruised to a 73-55 victory. Kendrick Nunn led the way with scoring a season-high 16 points, while Levante Rice added 12. Next up for U of I, the Missouri Tigers Saturday at 1. The Eastern Illinois women's basketball team is also in need of a win. They've dropped three straight heading into the Arizona State Holiday Tournament this weekend. First matchup for the Lady Panthers will be a tough one as they hope to accomplish, accomplish something they haven't done in school history, beat Northwestern. EIU is 0-10 all-time against the Wildcats, and this year isn't going to be any easier. With Northwestern sitting at 9-0 on the season, and Saturday's game starts at 4.30. And depending on the outcome, Eastern will either face Lehigh or Arizona State on Sunday. Mattoon versus Charleston. Need I say more? The girls basketball team meet for the first time this season tonight. Last time these two were on the same court was back in February when the Green Wave got the best of the Trojans, winning 60-55. to Both teams have momentum coming into this game. Charleston is coming off a 75-63 win against Taylorville, while Mattoon is coming off a 58-46 victory over Salem. Tip-off for this crosstown rivalry is set for 7.30 from Mattoon High School. Sports Watch will have a full report on tomorrow's edition. Illinois high school basketball fans will soon be able to watch state championship games from six decades online. On Sunday, the IHSA will post archive videos of more than 140 boys and girls games on its YouTube channel. The oldest dates back to 1947, and IHSA Assistant Executive Director Scott Johnson said the organization has been considering various ways to let the public take advantage of its archives. And if the videos are popular, more from other sports could be posted. Well, the struggles continue for the Chicago Bears after a disappointing loss to the New Orleans Saints at home on Monday. They may look to another face under center this weekend. Multiple reports say the Bears are benching quarterback Jay Cutler and going with Jimmy Clausen. The Bears will not confirm the move, but head coach Mark Trestman said earlier today he wasn't getting the most out of Cutler, but he didn't mention benching the quarterback. Next game for the Bears is Sunday at noon against the Detroit Lions. Chicago Bulls tip off against New York Knicks tonight at the United Center. It will be Carmelo Anthony's first game in Chicago since he chose the Knicks over the Bulls in free agency. The Knicks are off to its worst start in franchise history at 5-22. Savannah, Braden, back to you. All right, thank you, Derek. And to follow the Skywatch weather forecast anytime, you can just head right to our website, weiu.net. You can also keep up with us on Facebook and Twitter. And if news is happening in your community, let us know by dropping us an email at news at weiu.net. Have a great night and join us again tomorrow here on the area's only local newscast on PBS.